Gear Aid's Tenacious Tape is marketed as an ultra-strong repair tape for outdoor use. But is it worth the premium price compared to more readily accessible adhesive tapes? In this video, I'll be considering the pros and cons of this tape, its uses, what applications is best suited for. I'm also going to be comparing it to some other readily accessible tapes, notably Gorilla Tape, which I think is an excellent multi-use outdoor tape. I'll be doing some cutting and slicing tests. And then I'll show you how to use this tape to repair a tear in a backpack. I'll also show you how Tenacious Tape's been holding up in a repair that I had to make on my down jacket. And lastly, I'll be talking about Gear Aid's useful related repair tips that they have on their website and their interesting parent company. Let's get started by discussing Tenacious Tape's technical specifications and product details. As you can see beyond the basic exterior cardboard packaging, Tenacious Tape comes in a transparent blue plastic cylindrical container, which is 3 and 1 8 inches long by an inch wide. The top of the case is threaded, and the tape is actually embedded in the threaded top. In the container that I reviewed, you get 20 inches of 3 inch wide tape inside of the container. Tenacious Tape is a pressure sensitive single sided adhesive tape with a semi transparent non gloss pebbled backing material. In adhesive jargon, the backing is the back side of the tape. The backing, in this case, is a very thin plastic and is very pliable and is able to be stretched a small amount. The thin backing also ensures that the tape is relatively lightweight. The adhesive side of the tape has a so-called release liner made of coated paper which protects the adhesive side from unintended application until the liner is removed. The adhesive is extremely aggressive and bonds quickly. The potential disadvantages to this is that a uh, very quick accumulation of debris will occur if the tape is not applied quickly. To give you a sense of the tackiness of Tenacious Tape, I basically gathered up a number of common household tapes and rolled them up in a circle and set them on the table. I wanted to see how they stuck to my finger. Obviously this isn't the most controlled test, but it gives you a general idea. I would say out of these tapes, the electrical tape was the most average tackiness, right in the middle. Decently tacky. The painter's tape was the least tacky. The packing tape was a random Target brand and was pretty tacky. The masking tape, again, not very tacky, similar to painter's tape. I really like the scotch tape, actually. It's very tacky and a robust tape as well. Gorilla Tape, the most direct competitor to Tenacious Tape, is extremely tacky and also a little messy, although not as bad as duct tape. But Tenacious Tape, by far, was the tackiest. For the cutting test, I basically took a pair of vintage scissors that were particularly dull, just so that you could get a sense of dull scissors cutting these tapes. Electrical tape, scotch tape. You can actually tear the Gorilla Tape, you wouldn't need the scissors and I do recommend cutting the Tenacious Tape. You can cut it with the liner off as well. For the slicing test, I used the Chief Sanrenmu 605, which uses an 8CR13 MOV steel, and at the time of this shooting had a consistent utility edge, but was not razor sharp. It cut the Gorilla Tape with no problems, the Tenacious Tape with the liner required a little bit more pressure and effort to get a clean cut. As you can see, I didn't apply enough pressure in this shot. Had to go back and fix it. But it does come off pretty well once you get the cut done properly. To give you a sense of how both the Gorilla Tape and the Tenacious Tape works with repairs in the field, I took an old Alpine Light backpack and found a tear in it and I took the Gorilla Tape and directly applied it to where the tear was. It adheres evenly and quickly, but not in such a permanent way that it would be impossible to lift the tape off of the synthetic fabric. It takes off just a little bit when you do pull it off. However, with the Tenacious Tape, the bond is fast and fairly permanent. As I applied this piece of tape and applied not very much pressure, in my attempt to take the tape off, I found very quickly that I was going to risk tearing the fabric if I were to take the tape off once I had applied even a basic amount of pressure. For a small tear repair on the sleeve of my Marmot Zeus, which is an ultralight down jacket, the Tenacious Tape worked very well. 
I rounded the edges with the scissors and the tape has stayed very securely and is also proven itself to be water resistant. However, here's an example of tenacious tape in a large repair on the jacket. On the inside of my left sleeve, in the elbow area, a baffle seam came loose and I decided to try repairing it with the tenacious tape. What's happened is significant cracking and high movement areas. The takeaway for this, in my opinion, is that the tape works very well for fabric repairs, but not for fabric repairs where once the adhesive is bonded, the tape is going to be bent or flexed on a regular basis. Another bigger criticism I have of Tenacious Tape is the relatively high price of Tenacious Tape. You're only getting 20 inches of tape in this roughly $5 unit that you're purchasing. For a couple bucks more with Gorilla Tape, you get 35 yards. When you're talking about the monetary equation here, you're talking about nearly 25 cents for an inch of Tenacious Tape, whereas it's not even a hundredth of a penny for the Gorilla Tape. I think the only way you can really explain the offset cost is this little container that you're getting along with the tape. It is portable and lightweight, but it's not particularly high quality. I don't think I would want to use it for, for example, a first aid kit. I'd rather take my first aid kit and cut some tenacious tape and put it inside the kit instead. On the other hand, it is convenient to be able to take the tape in its little container and throw it into your backpack when you're heading out into the backcountry. I guess my bottom line is that this is a versatile and effective fabric repair adhesive tape. For small to moderate tears in tarps, tents, jackets, maybe ski gear, I don't know, cycling tubes, camping pads, situations where you need a strong, water-resistant tape, I think this is a solid choice. If you use tape with a gel adhesive on the edges of the tape, I expect that your fabric repairs would be fairly permanent to the limits that I've shown. I think putting some tenacious tape in your go bag or in your first aid kit is a good idea. And as my regular viewers and subscribers know, I usually like to give my two cents about the company. And I like GearAid. They're a, an outdoor company that has an interactive website that gives you assistance with things like fabric repairs. They have a number of how-to videos that I think are helpful and pretty good on their YouTube page. I recommend you check those out. And lastly, they ask for customer feedback, which I think is exceptional. GearAid is part of the McNett family of brands, which includes a number of affordable but quality outdoor brands. I particularly like the Aquamira water filters. I think it's great that you can go to a place like Walmart and get some decent camping equipment. McNett has also donated to causes in support of getting kids outdoors. All very cool things and good to keep in mind when you're outfitting for your next adventure.